Good morning. Today is Sunday, May 15th, 2022, and it is day number 127 in my fasting journey. Yesterday, I weighed in at 163.4 pounds, and this morning, I am at 162.8 pounds. I have lost six tenths of a pound since yesterday and a total of 56.2 pounds since the start of my fasting journey. So I am doing rolling 72s and right now I am in round 24 and I'm about 70 hours in. So this means that I have a refeed scheduled in a few hours. And what I'm having for today's refeed is a taco salad. And so I will be using half a pound of ground beef, which is 576 calories. I'm gonna season it with salt and uh, pepper and um, something called Mexican Fiesta Seasoning by Frontier Co-op. And um, I'll be cooking the ground beef with um, cilantro. I'm of the mindset that there is no such thing as too much cilantro. So I'll be using two bunches of cilantro and um, it doesn't matter to me if the cilantro like overpowers the taste of everything because like I said, I love cilantro so much. And so um, I'd be using two bunches of that and I'm not exactly sure what the calorie count is for the cilantro. Um, and so I'm just not gonna count it in today's calorie count today. It's very minimal, so it's not gonna make that big of a difference. And so um, after the cilantro's cooked uh, or after the ground beef is cooked, I am going to put it on top of a um, bed of lettuce. So I'll be using um, romaine lettuce, it's pre-cut, and I'll be using the bag, the entire bag. And so that's 52 and a half calories. And then on top of the ground beef, I will put some freshly cut um, vine ripened tomatoes. And so those are 18 calories. And then I'm gonna have avocado slices. So um, my total refeed today is going to be about 966.5 calories. And um, I kind of feel like the ground beef will just be fine and that's all I need. And so I think I may be overdoing it with the avocado, so we'll see. But anyways, um, I'm looking forward to today's refeed. I kind of find that when my refeeds um, are on weekends, when I have like, time to go slowly and I don't feel rushed that my refeeds taste a lot better and so um, I'm hoping that's the case with today's refeed. We'll see. I'll let you know tomorrow how it tasted. So today is before and after picture Sunday and you can definitely see a difference with my body from the first day um, and today but the thing is um, when I look at my pictures from the previous week um, I really don't see like much of a difference going on in my belly area. I mean, I kind of feel, I guess, that my body is kind of like working on the sides right now. And I kind of see like the hourglass uh, shape of my body becoming a little bit more defined. But um, I still have a lot to work, a lot of work to do in my belly area. And so hopefully, you know, soon I will be able to like post pictures of myself for before and after picture Sunday and see like a huge, like drastic, like difference in my belly area. So um, anyways, hopefully that day is coming soon. So on Thursday, I reached a huge milestone in my fasting journey. I got to the halfway mark. The halfway mark for me was 164 pounds and at 164, I had lost exactly 55 pounds and have 55 pounds to go until I get to my ultimate goal weight. So I definitely celebrated that um, milestone on Thursday. And then on Friday, I made a video about what was coming up next for me. And I thought today I would basically summarize like the first 127 days of my fasting journey. And so my fasting journey kind of started in December, 2021. Um, basically, I knew that I was going to um, go on a fast in January, and I'm kind of a wimp. I don't like pain, and to be honest with you, nobody really likes pain. And so um, I made the decision to um, detox from sugar and caffeine um, in December 2021 while I was still eating, so that way I could take liquid Advil and totally bypass the detox symptoms from, you know, the caffeine and um, sugar withdrawals. And so when um, January came around, um, I hadn't had sugar or caffeine in um, several weeks. And so I was good to go. 
So on January 8th, um, the day before my fast started, I um, placed an order through Whole Foods um, and I ordered myself some orange juice because I was going to do a juice fast, a uh, fresh squeezed orange juice fast. And Whole Foods um, sells fresh squeezed orange juice and I ordered three large containers of it. And what happened was my order got canceled because um, Whole Foods, um, the orange juice was out of stock. But I was like, that's not a problem. I will just, you know, place my order first thing on Sunday morning and get some orange juice then. So January 9th, the first day um, of my fast, I uh, placed another um, Whole Foods order and ordered myself some orange juice, three huge containers, which I felt would last me through the first week of the fast. And once again, my um, order was canceled because the orange juice was out of stock. And so immediately my juice fast turned into a water fast. And so um, basically, um, I was going to just fast for 21 days. And so um, since I didn't have orange juice, I did have this stuff laying around the house and decided that I would focus my fast on drinking fast light fasting electrolytes. So um, this stuff has 81% um, of your sodium needs. Um, it's sodium as sodium chloride and sodium bicarbonate, it's 81%. And then um, it has 87% potassium as potassium chloride. And I put that in 64 ounces of water and I would sip that throughout the day. And so um, the first, you know, several days of my fast, I was drinking like all 64 ounces of my water. But as the my days went on, I wasn't needing that much water. And so I, you know, was drinking less and less and less as the days went on. So um, I did start my fasting journey at 219 pounds and uh, the first week of my fast was an absolute nightmare. And the reason is because two days before my fast started, um, I had Popeyes. I had spicy chicken tenders from Popeyes and I had like two or three jalapenos and I put the juice from the jalapenos on the chicken tenders. And um, then I'm a fool and I ate the jalapenos and um, I know that I don't do well with spicy stuff. It causes acid reflux for me. And the first like several days of my fast, I was suffering from like a really bad bout of acid reflux. It was so bad that I was seriously considering ending my fast. And so before I um, ended my fast, I wanted to try something. So I took this stuff, Mago 7. This is an oxygen-based colon cleanser. It's something that I've been using off and on since 2005. And I took that and it took um, several hours for things to get flowing. But once things did and um, the Popeyes was out of my system, the acid reflux was gone and I was fine for the rest of my fast. So um, the next hurdle that I had to get through was um, my energy. I had absolutely no energy on my fast whatsoever. Um, I was fine the like first um, 20 something days, but then as I went, got further along into the fast, um, my energy started to dip. And so um, at some point in my fast, I realized that I was an absolute danger to myself and other people on the road. And so I had to stop driving and um, I had to rely on other people to drive me to and from wherever I needed to go. Um, because um, I just didn't have any energy so sitting up was hard for me and my reflexes were slow and my car it just like felt so heavy um, to me driving that so that was it would have been dangerous for me to continue driving on and another thing is um, so I am so lucky that I work for my mom and she was just like really glad that I was taking steps to get this weight off my body. And so um, she was really understanding of the fact that I didn't have much energy. And so her thing is that as long as I got all my assignments done and I did them, you know, well, then I could use um, the rest of my time at work either laying down with my head on the desk or laying on the floor. And I spent a lot of time doing that at work. And if I worked for anyone other than my mom, I can assure you that I would have been fired from my job or I would have had to like quit my fast prematurely. And so um, 
I definitely do not recommend that anyone does a 40 day water fast. I've heard like some people say that they've done 40 day like water fast and that they felt good and like on top of the world and um, had strength and all that stuff. And I just, I don't understand that because that was not me. And so um, when I got to like um, day 21 of my fast, that's when I decided to extend my fast out to 40 days. Um, the reason 40 days, because it just, you know, seems something biblical about 40 days. So um, that's why. And also another reason is because at the 21 day mark, hadn't made that big of a dent in my fast and I wasn't in new territory. I had lost like this kind of weight before and I wanted to get to new territory and I felt like um, a 40 day water fast would take me um, into new ter territory with my weight. So um, going back to not having energy, even though I didn't have energy, I was not tired at all. And so that was a disaster because I wanted to sleep through the uncomfortableness of like not having in it any energy and I just could not. And so I spent many long nights watching TV. And when you're fasting, you're connected to your like higher self, your spirit self. And the last thing you really should be doing is like watching negative TV programming or listening to negative music or playing like video games that are negative or even being around negative people. And so um, I spent a lot of my time watching Bob Ross. And if you don't know who he is, so um, who he was, um, he was a painter back in the 80s. He hosted this show called The Joy of Painting. And he was like famous for his big hair, um, some of his catch catchphrases, and um, his just like really gentle, soothing and calming voice. And so I spent a good portion of my fast lying on my couch watching him paint like these beautiful pictures. And um, he really helped me get through my 40-day uh, water fast. Um, he just, I am so thankful um, for him because he really helped the time go by fast. And so um, the next hurdle I had to face was February 13th. So February 13th was Super Bowl Sunday. And for the first time ever in my life, Super Bowl Sunday coincided with my birthday. And my dad came to town to celebrate my birthday and Super Bowl Sunday with me. And when he comes to town, he usually stays at my brother's house. And then I like spend um, my, most of my time over at my brother's house to visit with him and um, my brother's family. And um, so Super Bowl Sunday was pretty hard for me, not only because it was my birthday, but because I was surrounded by a lot of my favorite foods, like Coke, um, chips, pizza, candy, wings, just like anything um, you can imagine. Um, my brother had it at his house and I was definitely um, tempted. But at this point, I'm five days away from um, completing my 40 day fast and I knew that even if I wanted to cheat, I could not cheat because that would be really dangerous. And I was going to, you know, be putting my body at risk of refeeding syndrome, which could be like fatal. So um, I definitely refrained from um, cheating. So the last hurdle that I faced on my 40 day water fast, um, I don't know why I did this. Um, none of the literature that I had read on fasting suggested that I do this. I went completely rogue when I decided to put um, liquid probiotics in my first cup of water on the morning of February 17th. This is the last day of my fasting journey. And um, that was the only thing that I had done differently. And late that evening, I started to feel like really sick. And um, I rushed to the bathroom and I like spent the whole night just like throwing up. And so I don't even know what there was inside me to throw up because I hadn't eaten in 40 days. Um, I think it was just bile. And so um, as a result of um, feeling pretty sick on the 17th, on the 18th, the day that I was supposed to break my fast, I was going to break it with avocado slices, but um, I could not like stomach avocados. So I ended up breaking my fast with a pink lady apple. And I just have to say that that apple was the most amazing apple I have ever had in my life. It tasted so sweet. It tasted just like candy. It was just like absolutely amazing. And to be perfectly honest, I'm sure that anything that I broke my 40 day water fast with would have been amazing, like after 40 days without food. But that apple was just so good. 
So I spent 10 days refeeding. So when I broke my 40-day um, water fast, I had lost 34 pounds. So I was at 185 pounds. And I spent the next 10 days slowly refeeding. And um, after 10 days of refeeding, um, I had only gained like two pounds of um, of weight back. And so I was definitely happy about that because I had done a 33-day water fast in 2015. And I like gained weight at an alarming rate. So I was so scared when I broke this fast. And so definitely thankful that I gained, I don't know the exact number, but it was no more than two pounds. So on March 1st, I began rolling 72s. And um, that kind of like brings us to where we are today. I am in my 24th round of rolling 72s. And all of my refeeds have been whole foods, um, meat, vegetables, and low sugar fruits. And um, that's worked out so well for me. And rolling 72s helped me keep off all the weight that I lost on my 40 day water fast. Plus it also helped push me to the halfway mark, which I reached on Thursday. And so on Thursday at 164 pounds, you know, I had lost a total of 55 pounds and had 55 pounds to go until I, you know, get to my ultimate goal weight. So my ultimate goal weight is 109 pounds. Um, I'm five foot three and I'm trying to get to 109. Um, the reason 109 is because um, that's what I've weighed basically all of my life until I started having issues with my weight eight years ago. And so I'm trying to get back to what I've always weighed. And um, basically, um, you know, I see my ultimate goal weight, it's in sight. And I can't believe it because at this time last year, I never thought that I would um, see myself losing weight because I had struggled. I had tried to lose weight for the past eight years and it just was not coming off. And so I cannot believe this is like my life these days and that this is happening to me and that in no time at all, I will be at my ultimate goal weight. So I am definitely thankful for fasting and um, I just kind of want to say that I've always known about the power of fasting because growing up my parents were um, health food nuts and they fasted once a week. They were um, fans of Dick Gregory and so um, he was into fasting and so um, I've always known about fasting thanks to my parents and um, it's just worked wonders for me and so really thankful for what it's done for me. So um, that's today's video. It's gone on pretty long. Um, I'm going to like end it here. I will see you tomorrow. I'll let you know how my refeed goes. And um, I hope that you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care. Bye.